Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. There are numerous filters that you can apply to create different artistic effects in your images. You can access the filters through the filter command on the menu bar or by selecting an effect from the filter gallery. You can view the effect groups in the bottom section of the filter menu drop-down. You can then slide over the name of a group like Artistic to view the names of the filters for that group. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to Filter. We'll see all the names here. We'll slide over to Artistic and then look at our choices over here in the right menu that pops up. You can then click on one of the names of the filters to apply the filter directly or through a dialog box that will launch. Now some of the commands when clicked will launch what's called the filter gallery where you can change their settings if desired. For example, if we choose Fresco here, that will launch the filter gallery that we see here. Now you can also select a filter from the filter gallery by selecting filter and then filter gallery directly from the menu bar. This will come to the same place. The filter gallery that we see here allows you to apply some of the available effects independently or in layered combinations. You can click on one of the names of the effect groups which appear here as folders in the middle pane right here to reveal the individual filter effects listed in that category. So we can click and see distort and sketch for example so we can go ahead and click on graphic pen for example or note paper, halftone, plaster, stamp, torn edges, water paper, lots of different choices. Let's go ahead with charcoal. You can then click as I did on one of the filters in the category and view those settings for it on the left hand side here. That's what that preview area is for. Then you use the sliders and the color boxes and the drop downs that appear to change the settings of that selected effect. So you can change for example the charcoal thickness and the amount of detail, the light and dark balance. And again these, these options are going to change depending on which effect you have chosen. Now note that at the bottom of the right pane right here that we see the name of the filter which appears in a layer, in this case charcoal. Now you can add another layer to multiply the effects by clicking the new effect layer button at the bottom of the right pane. So we go down here and give that a click and that will add another layer that you can then click to select. We already have it either one selected here so we'll select that one. Then you can click on another filter effect to apply it to the selected layer. So if we want to select note paper or chrome for example we could do that. Now just as with our regular layers you can click and drag the effect layers above or below other effect layers to change the overall effect produced. So if you want to you can rearrange the order to change the effect that's produced. You can also delete an effect layer by clicking it to select it and then clicking the delete effect layer button at the bottom of the rightmost pane. Of course it looks like the trash can. So we're going to select the charcoal and then we're going to just click the little trash can to delete that. When you're finished applying effects, which you can preview again in this left pane, you click OK to apply the effects to the selected layer. Note that the effects are not actually added as layers that appear in the layers panel, but rather they are applied to the selected layer contents directly. So we can go ahead then and click OK at that point. Now many of the other filter effects that you can apply are not able to be applied through the filter gallery. You actually have many more effects that you can set by using the filter command up in the menu bar. Make sure that you have the correct layer selected in the layers panel before you apply filter effects. If you make a mistake when you apply a filter, just remember that you can use the history panel to reverse your mistakes. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. 
With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!